what I actually value most is just the growth that we see happen here. It is unlike anything else that, that I've ever experienced in helping people create change in their lives. I'm Kirsten Bolt. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and a senior clinical therapist on our team at Open Sky, and I work with adolescent girls. So I found the field of wilderness therapy when I was uh, a 20 year old and um, I was looking for something really meaningful and I stumbled into wilderness therapy as a field guide on recommendation from some friends and it really spoke to me and part of what led me there in the first place was just some of my personal experience growing up. Um, my family could have used more family therapy when, when I was a kid and, and so I have a particular fondness for helping families. It's just, it's a field that's really powerful and, and, and that I'm so personally invested in. I work with so many kids who come here and they just don't want to be here and they don't want to do therapy. I do often work with kids who've had a lot of treatment exposure, whether it's therapy, inpatient, hospitalizations, outpatient. And I think especially in today's climate for, for adolescent girls to feel okay about who they are. I mean, it's so much of what we're working on. There's so many messages about where girl's worth is and it's not usually in the right places and so it's something I, I feel really um, passionately about is just helping them be authentic um, and be their best selves. You know we're not shaping people into anybody other than who they are as, as at their core and the kids that we work with really feel that. They, they feel our authenticity, they feel our passion, they feel our care, they feel our, our warmth. Um, so and that, that reminds me of a quotation that I really like, which is, they may forget what you said, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. And that's so much my approach is just very relational. I'm just who I am with students and help them be who they are. So it's how I train guides that I work with. It's, it's how I encourage parents to be in the work that I do with them. It's just being authentic, being who we are. So in a way that they know that it's coming from love, we also are really challenging them to see how things they're doing at home aren't healthy, how the things that they're doing are actually making what they're trying to do worse. And from that place, you know, with challenge, with, with love, we're, we're just helping kids be their best selves. And then the other part of my approach that I, I would highlight is just the family therapy. Um, most of the kids aren't here because there's fundamentally just something wrong with them. Usually there are bigger issues in the whole family system, the educational system, the social system. And so a lot of what we're doing is tying in all of these different pieces. Something I run into often with, with the adolescent girls population is a lot of them have experienced traumatic incidents and don't know what to, to do with them and, and it's been really wonderful incorporating a, a specific trauma healing modality called EMDR which stands for eye movement desensitization and reprocessing and so it's a therapy style that's been really helpful in actually helping some of the girls I work with actually move through some of the traumatic experiences that they've had. The growth that people make out here is is really profound and I don't mean just the students who are here but I also mean their parents who are working in a parallel process with them at home. So often I, I hear back from families of, of, of the kids that were here and, and it's, it's always really exciting when I, when I hear from them that they're still connected to us and they still feel really grateful for their experience. And sometimes they're reaching out for support and resources and, and often they're reaching out to share high school graduation photos and college admissions and college graduations. And it's just really rewarding to, to know that the work that we're doing is having a lasting impact. And, 